All right, welcome back. <clears throat> My other video software crashed, so it's been a while since I've been able to record, but I finally got some different software and should be good to go. So this morning we're going to discuss the GitHub error failed to sync this branch. You might need to open a shell and debug the state of this repo. And we're going to go ahead and do that in the shell. Now, I did not get this error this morning. This was the other day. And there's a, a wide range of uh, possibilities that it could be, so we're just going to go over kind of some brief ways to debug this. The first thing that I would highly suggest would be going to this site, just in case, which happened to be uh, my issue, and going to status.github.com. Um, because in my case, it was actually down. So it, it may save you some time. If that's the error, there's not really much you can do anyway. Alright, but let's suppose it's not. So let's go to the uh, repository uh, SQL server. Okay, and we'll do... Oh, that's the wrong thing to do. Okay, and so we're at our repository. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually check the status. And if there was something wrong or if... These are two things we can do, get status altogether or get space status. If there was something wrong or if we were getting this error, there would be some return message that would be indicating to us something is going on. Okay, And just to give you just an example, if we go to a repository where we haven't committed something yet, first of all, you'll notice Ah, we're being alerted that something is different. So we have plus one here. So of course we could look at get status and we can say, okay, so has working ahead by, behind by, and we'll notice that working administration slash unzip multiple zip files. So then we can do get status again with the space and now we'll see something untracked files, use get file to include in what will be committed and you'll notice this right here, administration slash unzip multiple git files dot ps1, nothing added to a commit, but untracked files present are present. So use git add to track. Um, so we can see right here um, that there's something going on. Let me clear this. And so if I were to open GitHub's, which is where I got the error at, GitHub's Windows. GUI and I go to PowerShell how that's going to look in Windows is uncommitted changes so we'll go ahead and sync this up And this just takes a moment. So get status, get space status, those are ways, and, and you'll get some information. And again, these right here um, are not errors per se. And you'll notice now it's clean. And so if I go get status, nothing to commit, working directory clean, or if I do get status, now, of course, since I'm not getting this error message, we're not seeing anything to debug here. So that's that's and that's a good thing. I like get this error, by the way, it's a very rare thing to get with GitHub. OK, so the other thing as well is testing to make sure that you are um, authenticated. And the way that you can do that is you can do SSH T dash T and then get at GitHub dot com. OK, now, in some cases, you may find an issue right here that would mean that you're not authenticated. So um, those are some ways to debug. Uh, one of the things that I, I saw someone suggested deleting the .git directory. Um, I would not suggest that at all. That created a bigger mess, especially since it was GitHub that was down. Um, so I would, I would check those things, git status, git space status, uh, SSH, uh, what was it, t get at github.com. And then the other thing as well is you might have an issue where, and this, this has happened a long time ago when I was first new to GitHub, where the file that I had was, there was two files on GitHub and the only difference of the two files was that there was caps in one and lowercase in the other. 
and I think GitHub has gotten better about this, but it was causing all kinds of errors because GitHub was like, well, there's two files, but there's actually one file because technically in Windows, there's just one file. And so it was, it was confusing both of them. But that was, that's something that I have never seen again happen. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about that situation. I would not go around deleting your entire folder and then, you know, restarting. That's, that's something that you can do if, if you just can't get things um, organized. But check your status and then make sure that you're authenticated. And then, of course, I would definitely start with checking GitHub status because no matter what you do, if they're down, nothing's going to happen.